All right, guys, how's it going? It's Tuesday. And on Tuesday, we take some of the common myths and the preconceptions around addiction and recovery and we just smash them. And today's no different. So today's myth or preconception is that women are more likely to seek help than men. Again, not necessarily the case. Um, when I was looking for the first trial uh, group for ARC, um, through all the recruitment, I was only able to get one female. Um, and since then, a lot of the people that are applying for, for positions on the program are male, to the point where I actively seek out female to take part in the, in the program. And unfortunately, the added stigma that's attached to female addiction um, means that women are typically less likely than men to cry out for help or to seek help. And this means that many women get stuck in their addiction for a lot longer, which means it takes hold and it means it's a lot harder to break. Um, and research shows that more women are more likely to face any kind of barriers to entering treatment and seeking treatment than men. That they're more likely to experience economic barriers to enter treatment. That they're more likely to have difficulty attending treatment or counselling or sessions because of family responsibilities. And that they're more likely to feel stigma and shame or embarrassment because they're in treatment or in recovery from addiction. But here's the thing, in the end, women and men both do best when they receive the proper treatment that they require. There's no one size fits all uh, method of treatment for any individual, let alone uh, a male or a female. And recovery is possible for, for both sexes. Simple. Um, as long as the care is research based and it's compassionate um, and it meets the need of that individual, guys. So, women are more likely to accept help than men. Not necessarily the case. However, if we do our best to tackle stigma, judgment and shame, maybe that'll be different. Okay, so, Tuesday Myth Smashed. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe, be kind, be well. I'll catch you later on.